Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. I, 26 male, am thinking about cheating on my wife, 29 female. First and foremost, let me state how much I adore my wife. She is my closest friend and a fantastic mother to our two-year-old kid. We've been together for 11 years but just married last year. If I become enthusiastic about anything, she's the first person I want to tell and share it with. We never, ever dispute or fight about little matters. Having stated that, our love life is over. I can't remember the last time we had before this weekend. January 1st, before the holidays. In late November, I'm not certain. She'll offer to give me head once a week or so, but it just seems like a yes sorry, don't want to have with you thing. Even when we do have, it is dull and monotonous. She hasn't been able to get wet for me more than once in the previous eight years. She makes justifications, but to pretend it doesn't sting my pride would be a lie. That, and if she hasn't, it suddenly begins to ache about a minute later, so I'd best. Hurry up and complete as well, or I'm out of luck. Then a girl 26 female entered. I've known her for a long time, and she used to attempt to flirt with me years ago, but I turned her down. My wife is aware that this lady had a crush on me in the past. She's not a temptress by any means, and she's not out to destroy your house. Having said that I can see she is still interested in me. My pals and I have an Xbox set up outdoors at our break table, nerds, I know. She's been playing with us lately, and I look forward to it every day. I like spending time with her and joking with her, and I'm quite drawn to her. I can see there's something there, but we both know I'm married. Nonetheless, if I asked her tomorrow, she'd follow me out to my vehicle and sleep with me. I sense she likes me, which is something I haven't felt from my wife in a long time. She wanted me to feel how warm her hands were yesterday, and as soon as I touched her, goosebumps sprang up all over her arms and legs. When I said that, she blushed and it was incredible to witness that feeling in someone else for the first time in a long time. When my wife and I had the other night, I couldn't stop thinking about her. I just feel like a deplorable human being. When it comes to her weight, my wife states, that it is one of the reasons she does not want to have relations with anybody. I find it absurd, yet it has been used as an explanation for many years without a qualm. After a while, she has reached the point when she will no longer put up any effort to maintain her appearance. Despite the fact that I like this woman, I cannot understand why she would refuse to brush her hair. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Another factor is that my wife is the only lady with whom I have ever shared a bed with a male partner. She had been with a few of other people before me but not many after all, we were still in high school at the time. Even yet, there's a residual interest about how things are doing with people in general. That, as well as the fact that she cheated on me early in our relationship, around two years in. Despite the fact that it may seem to be a dreadful thing to say, I feel I am exempt from prosecution. We've moved on from her adultery, and to be really honest I can't envision my life without her in it anymore. She's grown into a wonderful person and is now my best friend, but the zeal that once burned inside her has waned. I believe I am too young to be in a stale relationship. We'll be 30 in a few months, not 4 to 5. Weekly, if not biweekly, updates would be preferred, if possible. A once-a-month visit, if it was really pleasant and not merely to fulfill a contractual duty would be acceptable to me. I'm not Channing Totten or anything, but I'm also not a particularly ugly gentleman. My conversations with her have been many throughout the years, and I am certain that our relationship will never work out. It's been a cause of friction for the bulk of our partnership's time. Together. Every day at work, 26 female, and I talk for greater periods of time and sit closer to one another. I'm hinting that I'll provide her with transportation home. She's making innuendos, to put it mildly. I don't want to come out as a jerk, but it's been a long time since I've had anything close to passion. As the most important person in my life, I don't want to make a mistake and jeopardize my son's relationship with his parents. I also don't want to be in my 20s and have the life of someone in their 40s. And the reverse is true. My mind is blank as to what to do at the moment. Some op comments. Not looking for validation. Just wanted to see if this was a common problem or not. Thank you for your totally original comment that I haven't read 15 times on this thread. Since I have I should just shut up, work my job, pay the bills, and know my place. Essentially, that's the gist of it, right? Did you try talking to her? Did you read my post? This has been an issue. Ten years, I'm out some pushover that wouldn't have mentioned this in all that time. It's been discussed. Counseling has been discussed, have been discussed. 
Everyone's treating it like this is some new thing and I've made no attempt in ten years to make it better and just deciding to say it and cheat. That is not the case at all. I don't want to leave my wife. I don't want to hurt her. At the end of the day, I was seeing if this problem was common and what people did in my situation. And in return, you tell me it's a pity party because I was seeking advice. You wonder why men don't do this kind of thing often. You have your answer. If you got nothing actually helpful or original to add, please just leave me alone. Why spend your free time berating people online? Who hurt you? I mean, seriously, read this. Read this comment right now and tell me you're a good person. This is insane. This is legit just bullying at this point and using someone's insecurities that they've shared against them. This is the lowest form of human being. And you tag says helper. Geez. So suck it up and feel unwanted for the rest of my life because the woman I married refuses to show me any sign of attraction. I wonder if this is the advice you'd be giving a woman in a similar situation, or if they felt emotionally abundant instead of physically. I'm starting to notice a pattern. Some of these replies have been very helpful but some of them, like yours, amount to suck it up. You're the man no one cares about what you want. Curious, when a woman posts about a loveless marriage the replies look a lot different. When it's the husband however it's completely different. Saying suck it up is just showing that double standard lives strong. Also, imaginary woman. What the hell are you talking about? So I'm married to an imaginary woman and I'm not cheating but you're angry at me for considering cheating. Okay. Story 2. Wife of three years got caught. What would you do? One child. Okay, so the other day. I learned that she was deceiving me. We live in a two-year-old small apartment, so we all need to take time off from time to time. Whenever she was having a particularly awful day, she'd announce, I'm going for a ride. She'll be gone for four to five minutes, an hour, two hours, or as long as she wants. I'm worried since she was gone for three hours this time, which is unusual. Following three missed phone calls, she apologizes and claims she was sleeping at a friend's home. When I contact her friend on Facebook, she says that she hasn't seen her at all. I send her the image and she says, I'm so sorry I'm going home. Please don't hurt me, in response to my request. We had a fight, and I informed her that she needed to go immediately. The next day, I told her that I would be traveling to her mother's house with our child, and she inquired as to if she may accompany me, which I denied. The two of us had a great time together. We went on vacation. We were excited that we were getting closer to being able to purchase a home, and everything seemed to be going well. She has previously voiced her dissatisfaction with me for not giving her enough attention or expressing enough emotional warmth toward her. She plainly need more in attention than I do, and she is 24 years old while I am 30. I chatted with her on the phone today, as did her mother, who also spoke with her. She apologized to us both, sobbed, and said that all she wanted was to be with us. She blamed her actions on my lack of affection, but she still realizes that she made a mistake in rationalizing her actions. They had been seeing one other intermittently for a year, and she had blocked him from all social media sites because of his behavior. She is financially reliant on me, and she does not have access to my banking information. It is my responsibility to take care of her lease, phone, and rent. She recognizes that she has father issues and that she needs counseling. She has been expressing this for a long time, and she is prepared to go to whatever length to reconcile for the sake of our child and her feelings for me. While the ball is in my court, I'll be accompanied by our child. She's realizing how severely she's fouled up and what would happen if I said no. I'm going to call her this weekend to have a face-to-face -face conversation with her about it. Currently, I'm leaning toward not letting this go and ending the relationship, but I haven't made up my mind. Hell you wish.